What is going on, bro? Welcome to the video. You remember last week I was getting back into the Muay Thai training and I told y'all, I'm gonna start taking this shit seriously again. I'm gonna hire a coach. I hired the coach. I was super excited today to take y'all through an actual training session with the coach. And then you're not gonna believe what happens. Last Friday, I was at the gym. I was on the hack squat machine. And you know when you like feel something in your lower back and you're like, I should probably stop doing this exercise now. I felt it, but I didn't feel like taking all the weights off the machine and putting them on another machine. So I just, I pushed through the pain and I thought I was good. Then like four hours later that night, it hit me. It was like this 10 out of 10 excruciating pain. I couldn't stand up or sit down. I was hoping the next morning I'd wake up and be better. I woke up, the pain was even worse. I struggled myself, you know, rolled out of bed, looked in the mirror. And then it was like my torso was, was growing out to the right of my body. Like my hips were so jacked up out of place and what happened is I, I fucked up my lower back basically. I re-herniated my L5 S1 disc in my lumbar spine that I heard in the past, but like this time it's a lot worse. That, the good news is that every day it's been improving a little bit. Look how quick I just got out of the car. This morning I was actually able to put my own socks on by myself, which is big progress. That's the good news for me. The good news for y'all though, is that on Monday, Edge Black Friday, finally goes live. This means that everything on the website is gonna be up to 50% off, even the new items will be on discount. The denim Sherpa jacket is coming back. This is a comfortable winter jacket that has that masculine edge. The brand new logo hoodie is dropping in two colorways, black and sand. The number one joggers in the world, the Tech Performance joggers are back and they're dropping in a new mocha colorway. The best gym tee, the enhanced mesh tee is also back in new colorways. The elite hybrid shorts as well. The long sleeve Henley. These are going to be the biggest deals of the entire year and if you click the first thing in description you're going to get early access to shop before everybody else you can secure the items you want before they sell out and you're even going to get an extra discount if you click that link which we probably shouldn't be doing to be honest click that link sign up for early access and be ready on monday I'm so excited today. I get to put all my stuff away. All my clothes are gonna be hung up perfectly. And we sign and move into this house in that many days. Two days, two days. So at this point, they're just wrapping up the finishing touches. They're mounting the electronics for the garage door for the car, getting all the grass and the gardening installed. And oh my goodness, they put in the grill, the outside grill with the waterfall island. I am so excited for it. Yeah, man, it's gonna be steak central right here, cooking up the steaks over here. We got the hidden little refrigerator for some beers for the bros. We got the sink over here, missing the faucet. It's the full outdoor kitchen. And we already got Amazon packages showing up daily to the villa. And I feel like the workers are like, what the heck? Why are they getting those delivered? They don't even live here yet. Even the Amazon drivers are calling me like, it's a construction zone. Like, what, what the fuck's going on? So we got a lot of things, but one thing we had to get was little door stoppers because we have in-floor heating here, which means that they can't drill in or could break that. So this is a little adhesive one we got on Amazon. So now when I close this door, it stops. Also, oh, probably not the right day to do this with my back. Damn. Look at your knees. Oh my God. You look like you belong here. Like you're one of the workers. This is how your knees should look. <laughs> Something super strange in Spain, they don't put the toilet paper or towel holders in any bathroom. So we have to. I know I'm normally the brains of the operation, but I think you need to put this one together. I promise females don't understand this thing right here. No, no, no. Instructions. Men don't understand. Just like that, we got five toilet paper hangers. And now I'm gonna do something that I probably shouldn't do, but it's been six days with zero physical activity. So we're gonna go to the gym. And luckily they have machines at the gym, which means I can do things that don't put any spinal load on my spine. So I can do like a chest press machine, a, a row machine. A bicep curl. Now, luckily, the Beastly app allows you to easily swap out exercises so I can stick to the safe ones. I'm going to switch over to a full body routine for the next month, probably, is until I'm fully healed up. Because I, I got no business being in the gym more frequently than three or four times a week. Anyway, wish me luck, bros. I don't think this is a good idea. He was literally lying on the floor, and I was like, you should take Tylenol or Advil. He's like, nope, I don't take that stuff. Let's get these gains, man. <laughs>
Gains, bro. Workout complete. Honestly, it did not feel great, but I survived. Now I have a question for you. When something bad happens in your life, whether it's something that you messed up or just something bad that happened to you, what do you do? Because I can tell you on Friday when I fucked up my back and I woke up the next morning, I was upset, bro. I was like, shit, I'm not gonna be able to train for weeks. I'm gonna lose gains. I'm not gonna be able to stick to this Muay Thai training I just started. But then something weird happened inside of my head and I started feeling lucky that I got hurt, which I know doesn't really make sense, but I wanna explain this to you because this like reversal of luck, it's a very powerful tool that you can also use. So life is kind of like a sports game. You know, for me growing up, I loved playing basketball. I was a baller. Maybe for you, you play football, but the game clock is always ticking, right? Because we all die. So even while you're watching this video, you're in the game, the game clock is ticking. The difference is that in sports, we practice and it doesn't really count, but then we play the game and that's what counts. In life, it's like we're forced to practice while we play because everything counts. You can't stop your clock. And this is important to understand because it means that the way you're playing the game right now, the thoughts that you're having, the beliefs that you have about yourself and about the world, and then the actions that you take, those things create your future reality. This also means that your current situation in life, whatever it is right now, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, it was created by how you played the game up until now, right? And something a lot of guys fuck up, and I'm guilty of doing this as well, is we look for excuses to take a quick time out, to take a quick breather, just a quick rest. When I slipped my disc, the first thought I had was, man, this sucks. I'm gonna have to rest physically the next week. So maybe I'll also use this as an opportunity just to decompress mentally it a little bit. I take the week off from work, rejuvenate my body, my mind. It sounds reasonable, right? But the fact is that the game clock keeps ticking. Even if I take a break, I'm just gonna be watching from the sidelines while other guys are surpassing me. And at the end of the day, I think that is the only you know secret I've had to success. Going from the guy I used to be, lost, afraid, insecure, to where I am now, is that I have fucking refused to ever take a time out or take a break. So just realize when you're thinking, I'm just gonna take it easy this week. You know, this winter, I'm gonna take it easy. Then in the springtime, I'm gonna get back to work. Or maybe you're thinking, you know, once I get that savings saved up, then I'm gonna pursue my dreams. Then I'm gonna start talking to girls. Realize that if you take that mindset and you give yourself that breather, yeah, it might feel good. You don't feel like you have a lot of pressure on yourself to get anything done for a minute. But meanwhile, I'm still gonna be in the fucking game, bro. I'm gonna be stacking the wins while you're on the sideline, while you're watching me win from the sideline. Do you remember the Michael Jordan flu game where he had such a bad flu that after the game, they literally had to carry him off of the court because he had no energy left. That is the mindset we have to have. Fuck that coach, I'm staying in. Even if it's not fun, even if I don't feel good, I'm not subbing out. And the only trick I have here to keep myself in the game is whenever something bad happens, I ask myself a question. Is this really the thing that's gonna take me out of the game? A little slipped disc? Oh, because my back hurts a little bit, I'm gonna give up and stop trying for a minute? Fuck that shit, man. There's people out here dying of terminal cancer. And even if I got diagnosed with a terminal illness, I would make it a joke as well. I'd be like, yeah, this sucks, it hurts, but is this really what's gonna take me out of the game? Yeah, I have cancer, I'm fighting it, but there's other people out here getting bombed, losing their limbs, losing their fucking children, man. My problems ain't shit. Maybe right now you're feeling down because you're not getting any attention from women. Ask yourself, is this really what's gonna keep me out of the game? Is I'm not feeling validated by some females? Is this what's gonna keep me out of the game because my car broke down and I gotta take an Uber or take the bus instead? My problems are a fucking joke. That's what you have to tell yourself. And when you start to play the game like this, it's a fucking cheat code for life. Because if you think about it, the only real opportunities for growth are when you're feeling down and you're losing. When you're cruising and you're winning, sure, you know, you can work on that mental toughness by taking a cold shower, getting up early, training in the gym, and you should, but really you're just maintaining maintaining that momentum. The only time to really prove yourself and build that mental toughness is when things are shitty. And that's why I'm lucky my back got hurt. It's just another opportunity to grow. That's the beast mindset. Ready bro, take a look at this. Look at my outfit. Versus Julia's outfit over here. Guys, I'm always cold. I don't like to be cold. No one likes to be cold, but right now I don't really have a choice. I'm trying to do like cold, hot therapy on my back to get the inflammation down. And the water, because we're in November, is fucking freezing. All right, strip down. No, but I will have a nice towel waiting for you. Bro, this is not, oh, this is not good. Oh, so I had an extra. An extra element to the recovery, we brought in a protein shake. So, we're gonna stay in here for like five, five minutes because I feel like anything less probably isn't gonna get the inflammation down. Cheers, bro. Julia, 
Send me a timer for five minutes. Halfway. halfway there. We're going numb. I think that's kind of the idea here. Time is up. The time's up? Honestly, I think I could do another five minutes. I'm gonna get you warm, bubs. I'm gonna get Thank you warm. You. I think the cold water like caused this. <laughs> It's like the back, right, bottom, I can't even speak, right on my back is just like clenched. There's not like a crippling lower back pain. It's like, my body just doesn't, it doesn't want to move right now. I think the problem is, to be honest, he did way too much today, which he shouldn't have, but when he films, he wants to. And also, I think he's shivering and it's making him just like tense up. Now we apply the heat. Luckily, the heated seats in the Audi, not only are they super warm, but like the heat emanates from the exact part of my lower back where the pain is. And it doesn't hurt that I'm, I'm rocking the Edge logo hoodie that's dropping on Monday. Also, super cozy. And the best part of the night, a little massage. I hope it's not a little one. I want a big massage in my back right now. 10 out of 10 massage. And now there's this Mexican restaurant. We've walked back and forth past it a bunch of times. I don't know why we haven't tried it. This one's for you, Max. And I'm gonna be disappointed if they don't have like a really spicy sauce. I feel like that's the big differentiator between a good Mexican restaurant and a great Mexican restaurant. The ambiance here is on point. My expectations are high. We got a lemon margarita here. Limon, the classic. It could be a little more frozen, but it's like an 8 out of 10. David got the chicken nachos that we are both about to share. Wait. Like 9 out of 10. All right, so right here we have some beef tacos, melted cheese. We got their hot sauce here, which I tested it. Not my favorite, but it's still not bad. All together, 8.7 out of 10. Gonna lay down on the floor with my main man Rolo here. Julia's up on the sofa, but my back does not feel good on the sofa. So we got the foam roller under my leg, Rolo on the belly. We're gonna watch this new movie called The Killer on Netflix because Rolo heard that it was good. I don't give a f For what it's worth, I would never have involved your female friend. It was really good, like nine out of 10. I fell asleep for a little bit at the end. Are you serious? Why do you always fall asleep? But it was good, it was good. This is a long day. I actually do wanna rewatch that one. It was a nine out of 10 from what I saw. If you enjoyed this video, I recommend you watch this one next. It is about why I was wrong about Andrew Tate and the red pill movement. It's also a dope day in the life. So click there, watch that now. I'll talk to you in the next video. Stay beastly.